It all began when we were contacted by the German company Jer Detect and as agents of it to make some educational films to show how to use the company products. We contacted a lot of film production companies to negotiate terms for the project and after several attempts to contact production companies we reached an arrangement with one of them. began to get stronger. Our search had led us to one of the farms. We now suspected that our target lies behind these walls. And as we expected, the device led us in that direction.
Indeed, our target rests behind these walls. But the area was inhabited. There were farmers there, going about their daily business. We knocked on the farm doors and waited for an answer. At first, we hid the cameras until we got permission to film from the owners. One of the farmers inside came to the door. So we asked him to meet the owner of that place and he went along to bring him to meet us. The landowner came and we introduced ourselves by showing him our company identity cards. We explained what we were doing and how the device had led us to his farm and that there was a buried target within the walls of the farm and that this target had traces of gold. The landowner asked how we could verify what we were telling him and if we had anything to prove it. We felt that he was skeptical about our story and it was somehow weird for him. So we showed him the company's identification documents and statutory licenses. And we asked for his permission to verify the presence of the target within the farm walls and to document the process by filming it. So he let us onto his farm. Immediately, one of the archaeologists made the necessary examination to confirm the target. Using duly followed methods and standard rules of excavation to locate the burials. After taking these steps, a cavity was found a meter in depth that contained gold, some precious ferrous metals and non-ferrous metals. And then a deal was made between us and the landowner to tell the authorities and prepare all the necessary documents, contracts and excavation and drilling permits to guarantee the rights of all parties. Two days later, we headed to the location with specialist engineers to supervise the excavation process and preserve the discovered antique artifacts. The engineers immediately began to study and analyze the photos to determine the perimeter and the start point of drilling.
and they asked the technicians not to drill vertically on the site and to stay one meter away from it so that rocks and soil would not fall on the discovered site and destroy it. We started drilling, which took over three and a half hours. The specialist engineers observed and guided the technicians, who got really exhausted because of the muddy nature of the soil. A rock mass appeared during the drilling, which caused it to be put on hold. And the experts examined the location. And asked the technicians to keep drilling and to widen the hole. They took turns drilling, allowing their friends to rest during this very laborious process. Suddenly, one of the technicians made a mistake which caused the soil to slip and even more of those rocks appeared, causing the supervisor to stop the drilling. And then the excavator, with guidance from one of the engineers, widened the spot which led to the discovery of a space between those rocks. And once checked, they found that it led to the cavity they were looking for. The engineers made sure of the safety of the procedure be before removing those rocks, steady and slowly.
they found out that the vacuum is actually an ancient burial site. A group of bronze and silver coins of various sizes were discovered as well. and a small, hazel, glass-like artifact. And a couple of small metal vessels.
After previewing all that could be discovered with visual examination, the archaeologist was extremely confused. The three-dimensional topographical image clearly showed an amount of gold that should have been discovered visually, which meant that the gold must be buried deeper within the ground. The archaeologist began working on examining the soil of the grave using a manual electronic device which beeps when its signals detect the presence Device beeped when the archaeologist passed over an oddly shaped oval rock that was found inside the grave. So the archaeologist examined it thoroughly and he became convinced of the presence of gold within it and he passed word to the engineers and they decided to carry on with the investigation of it outside in a more open and relaxed area. And they took outside all of the artifacts they had found. And they wrapped them up in cloths to preserve and protect them during transportation. After wrapping the artifacts and moving them to a safe site next to the grave, the archaeologist began to dismantle the calcareous rock. to reveal what lay within it. A pot made of basaltic rocks. Inside it, he found rare gold coins, which have high historical value. Apparently, the grave belongs to a wealthy woman, as everything found inside it clearly points in this direction.
Everyone was overwhelmed with joy and surprise. Most of all the landowner, who described it as follows. It is really hard to believe what happened. A land of yours containing all of these treasures? I began to wonder if there might be more burials in this area. And that's a thing we'll definitely be working on with the authorities and the excavation company. All of the discovered high value historical artifacts were documented via film and photographs. The authorities financially rewarded the landowner and the excavation company United International Group for the discovery of this precious historical national treasure with 250,000 euros each.